To create a new database, we click on File menu and on New. We then enter the name of the database we want to save it in and save it as a DB file. We click on OK and set the tolerance under Model Preferences to Based on Model and make sure that Analysis Code and Analysis Type are set to MSC and Structural respectively. We then click on OK and proceed to import a file which was made previously and saved as Parasolid or XMT extension. We click on OK when the Import Summary form appears and click on Smooth Shade icon and Top View icon. Then on Elements, Create Mesh Solid Options, set Element Shape Measure and Topology to TET, TET Mesh and TET 10 respectively. We select the solid under Input List, uncheck Automatic Calculation and enter 0.5 for the global edge length. We then click on Apply. Then on the Load BCS option, we choose Create Displacement in Nodal. We choose the name we want to save our file in the new set name and click on Input Data. After we click on Input Data, we enter 0, 0, 0 under Translations only and then we click on OK. We click on Select Application Region and set the Geometry Filter to Geometry. We click under Select Geometry ent Entities and then on the surface or face icon. We select the pinholes and click on Add. We click on OK and then we click on Apply. And in Load VCS we choose Create Pressure Element Uniform, enter the piece name slash pressure for the new set name and click on Input Data. We enter 1150 for the pressure and then we click on OK. We click on Select Application Region, set the Geometry Filter to Geometry, and click under Select Solid Faces, then select the top face and click Add. We click on OK, and then we click on Apply. On Materials, we choose Create Isotropic Manual Input and enter Steel for the material name. We click on Input Properties and enter 30E6 and 0.3 for the elastic modulus and Poisson ratio respectively. We click on OK and then we click on Apply. On Properties, we choose Create 3D Solid, enter the name for property set name, click on Input Properties, click on Matte Prop Name icon, choose Steel from Select Material, we click on OK, we click on Select Members and select the Solid, we click on Add, and then we click on Apply. On Load Cases, we choose Modify. We click on the default load case and check to see that the correct loads are assigned and then click Cancel. On Analysis, we analyze the entire model and full run. We click on Translation Parameters. We set data output to XDB and print. We click on OK. We click on solution type. We set solution type to a linear static and click OK. Then we click on apply. A file should be created and we have to make sure we know the folder where it was created. So on Analysis, Access Results, Attach XDB and Result Entities, we click on the Results file. Select the name of our file, which has an XDB extension, and click on OK, and then we click on Apply. We click on the Plot Erase icon afterwards, and click on Erase under Geometry. We click on OK, and on Results, we choose Create Quick Plot, and then select Stress Tensor and Displacements Translational, from Select French Result and Select Information Result, respectively. We have to make sure that the quantity is set to Von Mises. Then we click on Apply. We click on the Deform Attributes icon, then uncheck Show Undeformed and Show Title. 
Then we click on Apply. We click on the Plot Erase icon, click on Erase under Geometry, and then click on OK. We have to click on the Fringe Attributes icon, set Display to Element Edges, uncheck Show Title, and click on Apply. Then we can see our finished analysis and our piece. And we can make sure it was done properly.